Welcome to your very first chapel of the year. My name is Emma Wilson and I am the Commissioner of Spiritual Life this year. Um, I have a few things going into our very first chapel. Our new theme this year is called What Now? And Mr. Sabalka is going to introduce more about that in his message today. But this What Now? theme really centers around when these big events, such as a global pandemic, happen in our lives, how are we as Christians supposed to respond? And so with that being said, there's a few things I would really just like for you all to reflect on before you head into chapel today. A few things. Where are you with your walk with God? Did you just come out of a What Now? moment? And how did you respond? Um, these are big questions that we should really just be taking some time to reflect on. So I challenge you to do that as you go into this chapel today and maybe just ask the Lord, say, please just speak to me through this message and help me find some answers. And the great thing about this theme is no matter where you are in your faith walk, that question still applies to you. So that is just some encouragement as you go in today and on to our first chapel. Hi everyone, I'm Woody Crockett and I'm a senior here at BCHS. Today I'm going to read a passage from the Bible as well as pray over our chapel. The passage I'm reading is John 6, 66-69. After this, many of his disciples turned back and no longer walked with him. So Jesus said to the twelve, Do you want to go away as well? Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. And we have believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. Heavenly Father, I ask that we, like Simon Peter, may come to know that only through Jesus will we find the words of eternal life, that we will have the faith to know that he is a holy one of God. I ask that you will bless this chapel and that we be strengthened by the message. Furthermore, I ask that you will keep us safe from COVID-19 and that we can return to school soon. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Welcome back, Bakersfield Christian High School. I'm Mr. Sabalka and I'm the Director of Spiritual Formation. As we begin this challenging and chaotic year online, it seems we're asking the same question over and over. We keep asking, what now? This question is the theme of our year. What now when something terrible happens? What now when I feel so annoyed? What now when I can't keep going? Throughout the Bible, we see people desperately asking the same question. We ourselves look for the answer in so many places our friends and family, our sins and addictions, our culture, our social media, we hope that they can provide the answer. Peter, one of Jesus' disciples, gives us a clear answer that we're going to be diving into this year. At the end of John 6, Jesus' own disciples are questioning and doubting him. After some of them walk away from him, Jesus turns to the 12 disciples and asks them, do you want to go away as well? Listen to Peter's response. Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life, and we have believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. Peter acknowledges that Jesus is the answer to our question. When I feel sad, scared, lonely, when I can't do this online learning anymore, when I am so angry with the people I'm trapped with in my house, when I can see no way out, Jesus, you have the words of eternal life. I don't know where you're at, but as we explore this question, I want you to discover these words of eternal life. So, what now? Thank you, Mr. Sabaka. That was a really good uh, message. Uh, thank you great first chapel but I'll be doing the closing part of um, this first chapel it's been cool so far um, I just wanted to quick say that yes this year hasn't started out how most of us thought it would start out you know we're still online um, things are still different you know it's just it feels weird but still we need to go in with confidence and know that this year is gonna be a good year we're gonna make the best out of this year and I think the where we get our hope from that from is the last verse um, in this in this passage that Mr. Sabaka was talking about we have come to believe and to know that you are the Holy One of God. I think that's one of the most important verses just to close out this whole um, passage we're studying because God has our backs. At the end of the day, no matter what the circumstances look like, no matter if we feel down, discouraged, sad about things, we need to know that the Lord has our backs. 
and that he's watching over us and that we're going to all get through this together. It's going to be a good year. We're going to make the best out of it, even though it's it started out strange. It's It started out very uncanny, um, but we're going to make it a good year. At the end of the day, we need to know that it's important to really start this year off right and know that, yes, this is all weird, but it's, it's going to be a good school year. Um, but at the end of the day, it comes to knowing that God has our backs and trusting Him, knowing that He has a plan in all of this, even though it's <laughs> it, it, sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but he, this is all happening for a reason. It's part of His great plan that we can't see. It, it, it's going to be all right. God's got our backs. There's light at the end of the tunnel. And uh, this is all just part of His purpose. But anyway, um, happy first week. Happy first chapel. Thank you, guys. Thank you.